herbal plants, have been used to treat a variety of diseases for generations. Even though modern medicine has greatly improved our lives, both modern medicine and alternative medicine still rely on medicinal plants' age-old therapeutic capabilities. 10 Medicinal Plants and Their Uses Calendula Calendula officinalis Don't miss this exceptional competitor while thinking about therapeutic herbs to cultivate in your yard. Calendula, or pot marigold, is an excellent herb for soothing sunburns, warts, bites, and acne. It can also aid in the healing of wounds and the treatment of dry skin. This flower is a true multitasker. It reduces inflammation and free radical damage, has natural antibacterial effects, can help with menstruation cramps, and repels bugs naturally. Calendula can be planted in full sun or partial shade, and it goes well with cucumbers, tomatoes, peas, carrots, and asparagus. Lavender. Lavangula angustifolia. In any therapeutic herb garden, lavender is a must-have. It has sedative, antidepressant, anti-anxiolytic, anticonvulsant, and relaxing properties. That isn't all, though. It may also aid in the treatment of skin imperfections, pain relief, and hair development. Researchers have discovered that, simply inhaling the aroma of lavender, can reduce anxiety in those who are having dental surgery done. Lavender has also been reported to be an excellent treatment for burns, cuts, scrapes, and wounds in studies. According to some research, it does so via boosting collagen synthesis and accelerates new tissue formation on injured skin. Lavender should be started in a pot, outside in the summer, and brought inside in the winter. Throughout the summer, you can prepare your own lavender lemonade with the buds. Lemon Balm Melissa Officinalis Lemon Balm, another nervous system toner, is also a moderate sedative, that can aid with restlessness and sleeplessness. Studies have shown that, it can help you relax and improve your mood by lowering stress symptoms. Anxiety, nervousness, and excitability can all be alleviated with this plant. Lemon balm is also a powerful antiviral medication for herpes simplex, HSV. To minimize viral shedding, the oil can be administered directly to the cold sore, or lemon balm tincture or tea can be taken orally. Lemon balm is a simple plant to grow. They prefer moist soil in shadier areas of the garden. Oregano Oregano bulgare Oregano is a well-known herb that may be found in many kitchens across the world. But it's not just delicious, it's also loaded with health advantages. It's antibacterial, for starters. These herbs are efficient at inhibiting the growth of germs, such as Pseudomonas aeruginosa and Escherichia coli, thanks to the volatile oils, thymol and carvacrol found in oregano. Oregano's strong antioxidant content provides it anti-cancer properties, assisting in the neutralization of free radicals, and the prevention of cancer cell spread. Oregano is also an excellent antiviral and anti-inflammatory herb. If you wish to grow oregano in your yard, put it near plants that belong to the brassica family, such as cabbage, kale, broccoli, cauliflower, and so on, as it can help repel cabbage moths. Rosemary Salvia rosmarinus Rosemary is well known not just for its delicious flavor and aroma, but also for its numerous health advantages. First and foremost, rosemary is well known for its memory-enhancing properties. In fact, simply smelling rosemary's volatile oils is enough to boost memory quality and secondary memory variables. It can also assist people in remaining alert. The herb has also been shown to lower cortisol, stress, levels, which protects the body from oxidative stress-related chronic disease. In vitro studies have found that, rosemary has anti-cancer potential for colon, pancreas, breast, prostate, ovarian, cervical, bladder, and liver cancers. Rosemary is a wonderful pot plant that thrives in bright light. 
This plant enjoys drier circumstances, so only water when the soil feels dry. If you don't prune the plant often enough, it will grow into gigantic bushes, unless you want it that way, in which case let the rosemary go wild. Turmeric. Curcuma longa. Turmeric is a superb anti-inflammatory medicinal herb that has received a lot of attention in the last decade. Curcumin, the active component in turmeric, outperformed the two most prevalent NSAIDs in the world, aspirin and ibuprofen, for pain management, according to a study published in the journal Oncogene. Curcumin has long been investigated as a cancer therapy and prevention agent. It has been discovered to have a molecular effect on cancer growth, development, and spread. Curcumin is also a natural antidepressant, and after six weeks of use, it was found to be just as effective as Prozac in treating depression. Turmeric can be started using store-bought fresh organic turmeric. All you'll need is a sliver of rhizome that has begun to sprout. Plant an organic fertilizer rich natural soil. With the buds pointing up, the rhizome buds should be 2 inches beneath the surface. Your turmeric will begin to grow if you water it every 2 days. Turmeric rhizomes take 6 to 10 months to mature into consumable rhizomes, but once they do, they never stop. Only take what you need, and the plant will keep growing. Plantain Plantago Major Plantain is a relaxing anti-inflammatory herb that has long been used to treat lung disorders such as bronchitis. Plantain's moistening characteristics make it an excellent cough treatment for both chronic and acute coughs. Steeping 1 to 2 tablespoons of dried plantain in 1 cup of hot water is one of the best methods to use it. It can assist with dry, persistent, hacking coughs, that linger after an upper respiratory infection has cleared up. Crushed plantain leaves can be applied externally to treat bug bites and stings, eczema, and minor wounds. Plantain can be started from seed or transferred from a mother plant. They can thrive in practically any type of soil and enjoy full sun or partial shade, even sandy or rocky soil. Plantain is quickly reproduced, there is little risk of over-harvesting. Peppermint Mentha piperita. Peppermint is a fantastic herb to have on hand, if you're suffering from indigestion or a nagging headache. Menthol, a chemical found in peppermint, helps to relax muscles and relieve pain. Many people say that, applying peppermint essential oil on their temples, relieves tension headaches and migraine episodes. Peppermint helps to enhance the passage of bile in the digestive tract by relaxing the stomach muscles. This aids in the relief of gas, bloating, and diarrhea. Irritable bowel syndrome sufferers frequently use peppermint oil capsules as a treatment. Peppermint also acts as an anti-inflammatory, relieves nausea, decreases foul breath, and can be used to relieve muscle discomfort, among other things. Peppermint should be planted near kale, cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli to deter cabbage butterflies, which may wreak havoc on your harvest. Parsley Petrosalinum crispum The disease-fighting effects of parsley are well known. You'll always have some of this medicinal plant if you grow it in your garden. Apigenin, which is abundant in parsley, has been demonstrated to dampen overactive immune systems. This makes it effective in the treatment of allergies, autoimmune diseases, and chronic inflammatory diseases. Because the plant is a natural diuretic, it is beneficial for decreasing blood pressure and flushing the body of toxic waste. Furthermore, thanks to high quantities of vitamin C, the herb is very anti-inflammatory, which can help those with osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Parsley may be planted directly into the ground and will last well into the fall and winter. It's extremely hardy, so you'll be able to harvest parts of the plant for personal use even if it snows. 
Ginger. Zingiber officinale. Many people are unaware that ginger may be grown in a medical herb garden, but it is certainly possible. In some trials, ginger was found to help reduce symptoms in over 53.5% of people with irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. When someone has an IBS flare-up, ginger can help relax the intestines, alleviating some of the symptoms. Ginger's anti-inflammatory properties are also well known. Gingerols are chemicals found in ginger that act on receptors found on sensory nerve terminals. Ginger has been shown in studies to reduce menstrual cramps, just as well as medications like methanamic acid and ibuprofen. To grow ginger, find some organic ginger roots that are just beginning to sprout. Cut each sprout in half, approximately one inch below the sprout, to create rhizome buds to plant in the soil. When planting, make sure the sprout is directed up. Cover with dirt, water thoroughly, and place in a sunny location.